This week we're on Millennium Development Goal 7, which has to do with ensuring environmental sustainability. And we're going to talk about the broad scope of that in a minute. But first, as we've been doing, we're going to look at the report on investing in development. We're actually going to skip Chapter 12. Even though there are latent conflicts in Eastern Europe, this chapter didn't really address any of the issues that I think are important, and I want to finish this book, so I think the other stuff we're going to look at is more important. Chapter 13 is just a great chapter, Fixing the Aid System. It talks about 10 central problems with the aid system today, follows it up with 10 key measures to improve the system. There's a great table in there, Table 13.3. From what I've seen, here in Moldova and from people I've talked to in UNDP, USAID, I think that this chapter is right on the money, so I really hope you take some time to really look at this. Chapter 14 has to do with a global breakthrough in trade. Trade is an important thing, and international trade with developing and transitional countries is a very good thing, but it only works in very limited circumstances and doesn't address many of the issues that we've seen in the Millennium Development Goals and we're going to look at today. And you'll see it as you read through it. It really only addresses a very limited scope of the issues here. Chapter 15 talks about regional and global goods. Short chapter, importance of having neighbors as trading partners. It's just an interesting chapter as well. Now moving on to Goal 7 on ensuring environmental sustainability. There are really three broad policy areas covered by this goal. One has to do with what it sounds like, environmental resources, sustainable development, very important. A second broad policy area is something we've talked about in many contexts, really in the past, regarding child mortality, improving maternal health, and that is cutting in half by 2015 the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. This is absolutely an ongoing problem and one that somehow needs to be dealt with. It affects health at every level. And health affects the ability to learn, health affects poverty, health affects the ability to work. Not having clean, safe, potable drinking water is a bad thing. It needs to be fixed. And then the third broad policy area has to do with the slum dwellers. When you look at some of the readings, you will just be amazed at how many people there are dwelling in slums and what the definition of slum is. There's really a lot of very significant information in this background material. And you'll see that as you go through the UN report on progress toward Goal 7, the UNMGD report has some really interesting graphs and charts. I hope you take a few minutes to look at that. The World Bank has a lot of details. One of the things that we haven't looked at too much, but I think is important for this goal, is the Millennium Project. We've looked at some of their other stuff, such as investing in development. But for this goal, I'm going to have you read their task force reports on this goal. They have three reports that address each of these broad areas we're looking at. I'm not going to have you read the whole report. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, but you'll see I've asked you to read sections of it like executive summaries, introductions, conclusions. One of them is called Environment and Human Well-Being, a Practical Strategy, obviously on environmental sustainability. One is called Health, Dignity, and Development, What Will It Take? Water and Sanitation Issues. And the third one is A Home in the City, which talks about improving the lives of slum dwellers. I think you'll find that fascinating. And then there's the Oxfam poster and the Oxfam activities. There's one activity that as I was going through it, I just said to myself that I had to suggest that you look at this one closely. And it's one called The Truth About Slums. They actually provide a few other links within this activity that you really need to go to. It's really educational and eye-opening. And then in our next section, once again, we're going to look at how this goal plays out in Eastern Europe. I think you'll find the, the background information here very interesting. The World Bank's progress report toward goals has some very eye-opening stuff. Once again, especially on one of the things I keep repeating, the whole thing about access to decent water. The Moldova report on Millennial Development Goals 
is really very negative about this. There's a quote that says, more than 80% of the wells and 50% of the springs do not contain safe water. That has to do with people living in rural areas. Purification installations of residual waters in rural areas do not function due to various reasons, including the cut of electricity supply and damaged and stolen equipment. That sums up in a nutshell what I've seen here and certainly the problem. The Krug Republic report, which is the first time we've looked at their Millennium Development Goals Progress Report, is pretty optimistic. They've gotten some funding from the World Bank to fix some of the problems that Moldova's complaining about, and it seems to be working. So I wanted you to see the other side of it, what it takes to actually move this forward. And then once you've finished looking at these things, I hope you take the time to come and join us in the forums.